today we're talking about making videos. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave from Chase the Summit. In this video, we're doing something a little bit different, real, very different. We're out on my local trails today to talk about vlogging and some tips and tricks I've learned along the way on how to make a good video when you're out in the woods by yourself with a camera. Well, what I think's a good video at least, I, I hope you like them. So this video is gonna have two parts to it. There's gonna be some gear tips and tricks, you know, things you can have for your camera that make life a little bit easier when you're trying to make a video while you're trail running or hiking. And then the other half of the video is gonna be non-gear related, just some tips and tricks I've learned along the way that might help you out mentally that makes any sense. Before we go any further though, I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Insta360, which is pretty awesome because they're actually letting me give away an Insta360 Go 2. And if you want to enter to win the Insta360 Go 2 that I'm giving away, you'll have to stick around to the end of this video to learn all the details on how to enter. But I'm pretty stoked about that because the Insta360 Go 2 has been a camera that I've been going to. Oh, that's... That's kind of a pun. Most oftenly, because it's so tiny, compact, I can throw it in my running vest, I can throw it in a backpack, I can actually fit this camera inside of my handheld water bottle and it just gets out of the way. Okay, first up, we've got some non-gear related tips and tricks. The first thing I wanna talk about is finding some quiet trails to practice on. That might sound silly, but if you plan on going into the woods on a trail that's popular and there's a lot of people around and you're talking to a camera and you're setting up shots and running past it, it's super embarrassing. So breaking the ice by going out on some really quiet trails like I'm on right now, there's nobody here, the parking lot's empty. I know that I'm safe here, no one's gonna stumble upon me or they might and I'll be super embarrassed, but at least I know it's pretty quiet here and it's pretty safe. Go ahead, find a local trail, find something really quiet where you can practice, you know, figure out what angles you wanna get, how to talk to the camera, how to feel natural in front of it. That's tip number one. Okay, funny enough is uh, somebody just came through and caught me filming, so I just uh, had to explain my situation. I've got a camera hanging off of a tree, a box full of stuff, and an action camera in my hand. Ah, never gets old. Okay, tip number two, and this is a common mistake I see with people who just buy a GoPro and want to get into vlogging or whatever, uh, not having a plan or a story before hitting the record button. A lot of people think I'm gonna grab my action camera, go out on the trails, make an awesome vlog that people wanna watch, and uh, the truth is no one cares unless you have good content to talk about or good scenery or at least a plan of what the video is gonna be about. The point is you wanna tell a story, you wanna have a plan, you wanna have some educational aspect to the video, some content that goes along with the video and not just you, uh, you know, eating a gel or a snack and uh, walking in the woods because there's not much to it there. This is a mistake I made up front. I would just grab my camera, say I'm going out to make a video and the video would end up being about nothing. I'd go to edit it and just be like, ah, there's, there's really nothing to this. So I wouldn't post it. So now I try to have a plan like today, this is my plan. I'm gonna be making a video about the Insta360 Go 2. And to be fair, I'm no pro on this. I'm still a work in progress. I'm still learning. I'm just trying to share what I've learned so far and hopefully you found it useful. Okay, now that we've got the non-related gear tips out of the way, let's talk about the gear because that's what this video is all about. The Insta360 Go 2. The case itself can actually become your selfie stick. So when you open this case up, you've got the Insta360 Go To action camera up the top here that can be removed, but you've also got like the case part which becomes your handle. You just grip it like that, you can hold it out, and because this is such a wide lens, you actually get a pretty good shot just holding it like this. Another benefit of the case of the Insta360 Go To is that it actually has a built-in tripod. So you can simply pop these little legs out in the back here, plop this down on the trail, see the little legs in the back, and actually get a pretty cool shot without any extra accessories. But there is one drawback to using the Insta360 Go 2 in this configuration without any extra accessories, and it's that the case itself is not waterproof. So if it's wet out, it's raining, it's sweaty, you're pouring sweat, you're holding this thing, you don't wanna expose the Insta360 Go 2 to those elements because that can damage or break the charging case. However, once you remove the camera from the case, the Insta360 Go 2 camera is waterproof. Look how tiny that little thing is, it's ridiculous. So what I like to do is take the case along with me, just in case I need to top off the battery on the Insta360 Go 2 camera. But what I do is I take the case, close it up, and stick it inside of a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag to protect it. Now I can throw this case in my backpack, 
not have to worry about it getting wet. And if I need to charge the camera, I can throw it back in the case to charge it up. Now without the charging case, the Insta360 GO 2 isn't great for hand holding because there's not much to hold on to. You basically have this tiny little camera and that's where this comes in. This is the Insta360 go to mount adapter bundle. And this includes a bunch of adapters that let you use the Insta360 Go 2 on various other accessories. Inside the Insta360 bundle, there's actually three different adapters for three different situations. One adapter for a tripod mount, so you can stick it on anything with a quarter 20 screw that's on basically all tripods and selfie sticks. And you've also got two other adapters that are designed to hook up to a popular action camera, those two prong style adapters for various other accessories like uh, things you could wear in your chest or you know helmet things or things like that. So as you can see here I've got one of the mount adapters uh, and that's actually mounted to the end of my Insta360 selfie stick. With this little adapter that comes in the adapter bundle it becomes a really long selfie stick and you can get some super cool angles with this setup. And here I've got another adapter. This is the uh, action camera adapter with the two prongs on it and the cool thing about this is it works with any action camera accessory that you can pick up off Amazon or whatever. You can see here, I've actually got a little selfie stick. So this extends out and this actually has a little tripod on the bottom and this can be great for kind of setup shots. And if this action camera mount doesn't feel secure enough for you, there's a third because this is magnetic. The third one is not magnetic. It actually clamps the camera in there so it can definitely not fall out. I really like that one, but this one's great because you can pop this out, throw it in the charging case and uh, go about your business and charge up the camera while you're hiking or running. Another adapter for the Insta360 Go 2 that I really like is this one here. This is actually a hat clip adapter. This actually comes in the box with the Insta360 Go 2. And the way I like to use this is actually putting it, I wear my hat backwards and then I clip the Insta360 uh, hat adapter to the, the band on the back of my hat. And this is uh, super cool because it's out of the way. I don't even have to worry about it. I can run full speed with this thing, knowing a camera's up top. If I wanna capture something, I simply reach up, tap the camera. I'm recording now. I'm actually recording my camera right now. So you can see that. And uh, when I'm done, I click it again and I'm good to go. This hat adapter is actually a great way to get first person shots. So if you're scrambling on rocks and it's really rugged and you're, you get, you're using your hands, you can get a really wide view of what you're doing with your feet movement and stuff. And this can be a really cool, uh, dynamic, immersive shot. Okay, now let's talk about some of the shots that I like to capture when I'm out vlogging or trail running or capturing content for this YouTube channel. The first one and the one I just covered two seconds ago is gonna be the hat adapter. I like to pop this on whenever I know I'm going to be going up some really steep stuff and maybe I want to get a cool shot of my feet or my hands on a really scrambling terrain. I also like to wear the hat adapter if I'm like filtering water or something or I'm filling water at an aid station. That's when this can become really handy because you can have your hands free to actually do stuff while you're still filming. The next shot I like to capture while I'm out tra trail running is more of a b-roll or like a storytelling shot. I like to call it the setup shot and that's when I use something like this that has like a tripod mount at the bottom of it, like we talked about before, using the adapter for the Insta360 Go 2. I like to set this up on the trail and either run past it, run over it, like jump over it and get a really cool shot where feet come into frame and you kind of land and continue running. Or I like to set the camera up next to the trail and then run past it that way. That way you can kind of get a uh, perspective of someone running by the camera rather than just being in your face the whole time. You can get really creative with this uh, because you can hang this from a tree and get like a high shot. You can put it on the ground on all parts of the trail and get different angles of the same shot. <sighs> The only bad part is you always have to come back for the camera. <laughs> now going back to the Insta360 selfie stick, because this is so long, this is the selfie stick I like to use for the foot shot. Yes, the foot shot is very important for trail running videos. Basically what I do is I use this really long selfie stick, extend it all the way out, and then hold it with the palm of my hand, aiming back. And that way while I'm running, I can actually capture my feet running below me and get a really cool look at, you know, what it would look like to be actually running behind me. So it does feel really immersive. You can see like my feet hitting the ground and, and like 
dirt flying up in the air. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy that. The other cool thing you can do with this is kind of rotate or orbit around yourself with the camera aiming at your feet. And you can end up with this kind of rotational drone-like shot. On the topic of swinging around, uh, which could be your feet, I also like to use this technique uh, for my head or like my upper body at least, not my head. Basically when I'm running, I like to put the go-to out on a selfie stick. And while I'm running, I like to swing the camera around my head or upper body. And you get this really cool shot again that looks very drone-like. And this can add to the story that you're trying to tell. And finally is the talking head shot. This is probably the most important one, so I left it for last. Essentially, uh, I find that if I just make videos of me running in the scenery and things like that, it gets kind of boring and static. I like to talk to the camera and I feel like people like watching that a little bit more too, or at least I do. That's what I look for when I'm looking for running videos. Uh, so basically, I like to put it out on a selfie stick in front of me and just talk to it like a friend or a person that's with me. And uh, I find that conversation can flow a lot more naturally, especially with the GoTo, because it doesn't have a screen looking back at you. You can't actually see what you look like. And uh, I think that's actually a feature more than a setback on the Insta360 Go 2. Oh yeah, another Insta360 Go 2 tip. Film everything in pro video mode because it offers the most flexibility when you go to edit the stuff in the Insta360 app after the fact. Okay, we made it to the end of this video. I hope you found some value in the tips and tricks I've tried to outline in this video regarding filming yourself with any action camera while you're out trail running or hiking. And now we've gotten to the part you've probably been waiting for, and that is the Insta360 Go To giveaway. If you wanna win an Insta360 Go To, there's a few things you have to do to enter to win. First up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button down below this video. Next up, go over to Instagram and follow the Chase the Summit Instagram page. After that, you're gonna wanna follow the Insta360 Instagram page. And the final step to winning the Insta360 Go To is gonna be to go to my Instagram page and find the Insta360 go to giveaway post. I'm posting a picture that just explains the uh, giveaway and you need to leave a comment on that post. Otherwise, I can't contact you. So this is the most important part of this process in the most important step. Go to that post and leave a comment. The comment can be anything. Just tell me, uh, you know, what you're gonna use the camera for. A winner will be chosen two weeks after the published date of this video. And I'll reach out to the winner using the Instagram direct messaging feature to get your address and where to send it. Okay, that is all I've got for today. I do wanna thank Insta360 one more time for sponsoring this video and giving us a go-to to give away to one of you. That's super exciting. I hope you found some value in this video. Maybe it helped you out. Maybe you bought a Insta360 go-to and you have some trouble coming up with ideas, I hope it maybe churned some gears. And again, I'm no pro, I'm not a professional filmmaker or anything, and if you've got some tips and tricks that you wanna share with me and the viewers of the channel, we would love to hear from you down in the comments of this video down below. Please share what you got, how do you use your action camera? I'd love to hear from you. That's all I've got for this one. If you enjoyed this video and you made it this far near the end of the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go finish out my run, get some more B-roll of the shoes I'm wearing because I've got a video about them coming up and I'll see you in the next one.